Okay. I think it's one of my favorite wings I've ever had in LA. Yep. No? It's a hard enough. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am joined with the cooking queen herself, Miss Romy Ashton. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. And I'm more excited to eat chicken tenders. And I was like, should I clear the table before we start shooting or should you just leave these nugs? I think they look good. These wonderful nugs. <sighs> I felt as if it would not be right in the world to do any kind of eating video and like food critiquing without you here because I have the palate of a six year old. I was gonna say I'm probably not good because I say I like everything even if I, <laughs> I don't wanna hurt anyone's feelings. I think we need you to like everything and me to be like the Simon Cowell. Okay, 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 I'll be the Paula. The Paula. That's my dream, that's oh my, my God, dream. You were such a Paula energy. It's our new thing. It's the, instead of a personality test, it's like Randy, Randy Simon, Simon, or Paula. I would say I fall somewhere between a Randy and a Simon. It's a no from me, dog. It's a no from me, dog. Okay, so we have today YouTuber slash influencer slash TikToker food brands and collaborations. Thank you. I um, am also in anticipation for like the stomach ache that we're about to have after this video. Oh yeah, we need lactate. Yeah, I know we got lactate, I've got lactose free milk. Do you want to start with a beverage? Yes, I do. Yeah. A beverageino? A beverageino. Thank you. Ani energy drink in lemon lime brought to you by- I think it's actually Annie because it's party oh. animal. That's where that's from? I think so. But my dad's name is Ani. So when they came out, I was like, finally oh, some recognition Ani. for Ani. So there was two flavors, black cherry and lemon lime. There's seven 25 grams of caffeine versus 200 to 300 milligrams from the big guys. Well, oh, this smells like a freezy. What is a freezy? Popsicle? Otterpa? What's an otterpa? This is my favorite thing to do with Lauren. I just <laughs> ask her what words are in Canada. It's like a like a, a like a plastic popsicle and like a yeah, they cut them and they're like a popsicle. That's an otterpa. You buy them and they come in like hungry yeah, 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 yeah. And, and they're like, like the plastic. long plastic tube. Yeah, and then the edges are like you can you yeah. off? Yeah, it's an otter pop. Why the frog would it be an otter? That's, That's what so they're called. Underrated. They're called otter pops. But it's like one of those things where like a Kleenex is like a brand mm. of a tissue. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But uh -huh. we call them Kleenex. Uh -huh. Same thing. Got I it. Did. That's a freezy in Canada. She goes, bitch. Wow! See, I told you I like everything. <laughs> Wow! When I think of lime and lime, I only think of Gatorade. And to me, this mm. literally tastes like a sparkling Gatorade. I'm not like the biggest carbonation fan like you are. Okay, I was gonna say, this tastes flat to me. I like it though. I don't like too many bubbles because it's like sour almost. I want the bubbles to come out of my nose. Yeah, so I like this because it's like a light bit of bubble. Like what I like to do with soda is leave it out for like a day and then... <laughs> and I like Sprite. This literally tastes like oh, Sprite. I like it. I will say there's a lot of sugar in it though. Yeah, there's a shit ton of sugar in here. Are we rating? Do we rate? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so my wedding dress video, I rated with champagne glasses. Rate with... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Maybe like little like um, burger emojis. Yeah, burger emojis. Cause we've got we've got burgers coming. I rated an eight point five. Damn! I like that's hot. I was oh, gonna shit. give it a ten, but I'm trying to be <laughs> trying <laughs> to give some critique. Fucking pop on this bitch. I'm gonna give this um a s mm. six and a half. Okay. I also don't drink caffeine, so I'm like nervous that I've, I've taken six sips and I'm mm. like, oh. she's been monitoring. Yeah. Next up from Keith Habersberger himself. I can honestly say that I have received so many of these Bless Keith's hearts and I have not tried a single one. I like sauces, but I'm not like a hoe for sauces. I love sauces and I love Keith and I love Eat the Menu, so I've always wanted to try. Okay, so this is the chicken sauce. I also have the burger sauce for later on. By enjoying this sauce on your favorite chicken, you and I are sharing an experience of delicious flavors, gentle heat, amazing ingredients, and intimate universal harmony. It's also great on pizza. A not too hot sauce for chicken and other stuff. Uh, are you a hot person? Nope. Okay, I like a hot sauce. Oh my but God. not too hot? Ooh. Ooh, okay, a vinegar-based sauce is my favorite. How do you smell? I, I think I only have like, <laughs> I <laughs> like or I don't like. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It hurts. You think that's spicy? It hurts. Ooh, it does hit the back of your throat it a little bit. It hurts my tongue. It's just not for me. <sighs> I need to like <laughs> taste it, you know? Mmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I really like it. But I'm also just really hungry with chicken nuggets. It's really good. I feel like this is perfect with what we're eating, but I couldn't picture putting this on eggs or pizza or something else. Like to me, this is very much made for chicken, but it's good with chicken. Yep. 
No? That's hard enough? It tastes good, but my thing with spicy food, because I'm a little baby bitch, is that when it hurts my mouth, it overrides the taste because I'm just like... <laughs> taste buds I shut taste, down. I taste pain. I just <laughs> taste pain. Thank God you're here for this video. <laughs> <laughs> it's smoky and sweet, but they've got like sugar or maple syrup, roasted red peppers. There's a lot of depth to it. We've got two thank you gifts for coming to this. Hell place. yeah, I'm taking it home. I can literally feel my forehead starting to perspire. As successful as I would like to be in life, <laughs> my worst nightmare would be to be so successful that I would end up on hot ones. Oh. I would have to eat those because I think for chicken, an eight and a half, like normal food, a five. Like, I don't want to put this on anything but yeah. chicken. Hot sauce is pretty universal. It's like Tabasco on anything. Exactly. Yeah. This is very well made for what it's made for. Mm -hmm. Taste-wise, for me personally, and it's not even a taste. It's a. It's also a, a pain. <laughs> it's like a, it's a pain. five. <laughs> but for clearing sinuses, <laughs> nine. <laughs> I'm about, okay, I'm so excited for this one. This is Sarah Basca's Cloud Kitchen called I.L.Y. Pizza. I thought I was a Sarah Basca super fan until today. I didn't know this happened, but I love Sarah Basca. We're coming out with heart-shaped <laughs> pizza. So we have got oh yes, mother. Wings. I didn't know there were wings here. I am a baby back bitch. I'm yes, <laughs> that yes, 100. percent But I also am kind of picky with wings because the East Coast arguably has better wings. Cause like Buffalo, I live near Buffalo and Buffalo has the best wings I've ever had. Is that why it's called Buffalo wings? So I don't want to spread a rumor here just in case it's not, let me, let me Google it. Her Buffalo wings from Buffalo. Oh, I had no idea. Oh my God. Okay. So Buffalo wings were invented at the city's famous Anchor Bar and I've been to Anchor Bar. These look honestly like my favorite type of wings. They're like big, yeah. juicy. If yeah. you think that boneless wings are wings, they're not, they're chicken nuggets. We will fight you. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for you to see this pizza. Ready? <gasps> How cute! Oh my god! Isn't it cute? Perfect too. I have to tell you something. Oh no! Not a pizza fan. I know. Oh my god! I'm so glad I ordered the wings. I'm really excited for the wings. Cheers! Oh my god! Mm. I'm gonna pull it out. I think it's one of my favorite wings I've ever had in LA. Shut the fuck up! Mm -hmm. I will say. I put up with a domino wing, so my expectations are pretty low. The bar's on the ground. But these are <laughs> good. I like when cheese is a little, a little, a little, a little toasty. Uh huh. I'm a thin crust kind of bitch, mm -hmm. but this is like a medium. Oh, good. This honestly over delivered. I thought it was gonna be average. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like sometimes Cloud Kitchens can go either way. This is good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think they'll deliver to my house? Because I'm gonna have these every day now. I'm gonna have to come to yours to pick them up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Eight out of ten. Damn. Okay, let me try this pizza. I'm a crusty gal. She doesn't like it. Uh oh. It's giving me Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> the flavor is pretty good though, wow. Do you think it's a frozen pizza? Maybe the crusts come pre-made and then they put the cheese and the sauce on top. That's I what bet I you're right. see. I bet you're right, I bet you're right. I rate the wings a 10. I love them. I rate this. A seven. I'm gonna touch mine to a 7.5. I have a really small mouth and have a really hard time eating wings. And so it's not something that I'd like to do on camera. <laughs> <laughs> these are pretty good actually. Yeah. As established, I'm a little baby bitch and these are a little bit spicy. Do you think they're still spicy? A little bit. Mm. My forehead pores are perspiring again. Oh no. <laughs> this continues to like get better with every bite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're right. Mm -hmm. It gets better. Mm -hmm. It gets better, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh God. You okay? Don't bring up so you many okay? weird flavors. <laughs> Mostly just spices. We've got a delivery. It comes with a million dollars in every bag. This is a really cute bag, honestly. Oh, this yeah, the branding is cute as shit. Good branding. Mine's a little patty melt action. Ooh, creamy fries. Seasoned. Okay, so I got the Chandler style burger, with this, which is just smashed patties and cheese. The fries look fire. Yeah, I love fry seasoning. Me too. I wish they were a little crunchier, but also I understand in transit with the steam. Things get weird. Mm -hmm. I wish they were saltier. Yeah. I thought they were gonna be better. They look so good. Like I will continue eating, but I don't love. Yes. Normally patty melts are like a lot greasier, which is probably good that it's not greasy, but it just feels kind of floppy. I don't know what a patty melt is supposed to look like. So like to me, it looks like a grilled cheese with some meat in it. That's essentially what it is. But I also think like patty melts are very crispy. That They're was fried with like butter. Dense. When you dropped that, it was like, Maybe fast food has conditioned me to think that 
It should be so salty that I immediately puff up. Maybe this is an average amount of salt. And we're like, where's the salt? Yeah, this is good. I like this. 8.5 out of 10. Damn. Yeah. I'm gonna give it like a six and a half. It'd be much we better. Got, we got peak burger. Oh, on. that's right, that's right. Oh, she's liquidy. <laughs> she's juicy. Mm. Not it. Very vinegary. Mm. Like for me on a burger, I want to put like in and out spread. Like mm -hmm. a mayo, mm -hmm. ketchup, mm -hmm. little pickle mm -hmm. action. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is in no way a representation of how we feel about the individual. Love Jimmy. Love Keith. Don't know the Sway Boys. <laughs> Six and a half. Mm -hmm. If I put salt on it, seven and a half. And now for dessert. Oh, I can't wait. We forgot these. Well, no, we forgot oh, these. I, forgot I, was I was like, we have lactose free milk. Huh? See you on the Whoopsies. toilet. <laughs> For dessert, we have the Magic Spoon Grain-Free Cereal collaboration with Sway LA. And I didn't actually realize that everyone on this dog on the front of the box is Sway. So who consists of Sway? Josh Richards. Josh Richards. Novak. Novak. Bryce Hall. Bryce Hall. Blake. Blake Gray. You think they fought over who got to be on the box? <laughs> Probably. They all have the same hair. I have no idea who's supposed to be who. You know how like um, when you're eating cereal, there's a game for you to play while you're eating. That's the, the game. The game is guessing Guess who is who. <laughs> High protein cereal that tastes just like you remember, packed with premium ingredients, complete protein, and no gluten or grains. This is a really good idea for a company. Whoa! It smells like a jelly donut and it smells really sugary. I have high expectations. I'm nervous. It's not. I hate it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I went through a very Way intensive protein journey at some point in my yeah. life. And so when I can taste way, the little red man goes running around. <laughs> he's not, he's throwing the papers he's up in the air. Throwing the papers in the air, the fire is coming out of his head. It does have a whey taste, but more than that, you can just taste that it's not regular cereal. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there is a health aspect to it. It does taste very much like a jelly donut though. It does. No, no, it's not, it's not far off. People who are eating gluten-free and also high protein. Or keto. Or keto, like this is a bomb ass product for you. Can I try it without the milk? Maybe I don't like the milk. Mmm, I like it better without mm, the milk. Better with mm. Like a better, like in a little baggie for a snack. Mm. It's, you can taste the sweetness more. Yeah, Maybe yeah. like the milk pulls the sweetness out. You're so right. That was real bad for me. That was a two out of 10. Yeah, that was, that was not good. With the milk, I rate it like a four. But if you have in mind that it's a protein product and a health right. product, it, does it go higher on your scale? Yeah, for sure. Cause it's yeah. not pretending to be something that it's not. Yeah, which we hate. Which we hate. Mm -hmm. We hate liars. Li liars! <laughs> Knowing it's a protein product, I would rate it like a five and a half. I've had some real bad protein products and that's not the worst one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I very much enjoyed this video. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I might not be enjoying it later, but I'm enjoying it now. I think I need a Tums. Yeah, I actually don't <laughs> feel very well. <laughs> I don't feel great. There's a lot of different feelings and sensations happening in my body. Okay, so the true winner of this video is the packaging of the Mr. Beast burger. I think the chicken wings were that for me. You're so right, the chicken yeah, wings. You're they so were right. It was the chicken good. wings. It was chicken wings. Mother Rem, our cooking queen, thank you so much for joining us for this ranking of YouTuber food products and collaborations. Anytime. If you do another one, let me know. Give me like a week in advance so I can prep my stomach. You prep your pot. Yeah. <laughs> I will leave a link to where you can shop all of the products that I was able to accumulate. Honorable mentions for the products that I wasn't able to get was the Jojo Siwa ice cream, which is sold out across all of LA. It's like what I Jojo deserves. Emailed her manager being like, hey, like, do you have any Jojo ice cream? And she was like, let me put out some calls. <gasps> they have to call to get one carton? The ice cream is gone from LA. Love you, Jojo. Love you, Jojo. As she should. As she should. Get your bag. All right, guys, thanks for joining, and I will see you guys next video. Bye. Bye. I literally have like sugar in my mouth along with Spice. burger, uh -huh. along with pepperoni. Yeah.